Hello guys, this is Mark from Oceaholic again. Today I'm going to talk about a very nice little piece of hardware. In fact, it's the new Intel Solid State Drive 335 series with 240 GB. I'm going to discuss uh, what this drive is based on, what it's good for, where you can actually use it, and of course I will show you around the box. So yeah. First, have a close look at the box. You can see this is uh, the typical Intel retail box where they ship their products. And yeah, it's very well packed and on the box you get some information about the drive. In fact, there is not really a lot of information. For example, the, uh, the technical specs, they're all missing. But there is one important thing because here you can see it says three years warranty. So that's one good thing. I mean, that's that's uh, industry average at these days, but yeah, it's it's quite decent. So yeah, there isn't much more to talk about when you when you look at the box from the outside. So we step ahead and open it. So first of all, there is a, another box in the box, which is made from cardboard. So in fact, the entire, entire drive is very well packed. It's uh, kind of almost impossible that this drive is going to be uh, destroyed during transportation, especially as we all know, um, it's kind of hard to kill an SSD, especially if you don't really use it in a computer. And here you can see the actual drive. Uh, it's nicely packed. And as you can also see, the drive has already been used. I have been testing it uh, before this unboxing video to give you some more details about its actual performance. So, yeah, that's it. That's the 335 series with 240 GB. And um, one thing you'll notice uh, as soon as you take it out of the box or if you're gonna read reviews around the, around the internet uh, you'll see that it is a that it's not a 7 mm drive uh, which I personally think that's a that's that's a pity because I think all SSDs these days they, they should have come with a 7 mm form factor to put them in each and every notebook out there available in the market of course, not ultrabooks, but that's a, that's another story. And there is another reason why it's really why it's really a pity that this is not a seven mm drive. Uh, the fact is, Intel is using a Sandforce twenty two eighty one controller for this drive, which is uh, that's that's nothing special. We've seen a lot of Sandforce drive uh, in the in the past one two years, and. But what is special about this drive is the 20 nanometer NAND flash they're using. This 20 nanometer NAND flash is very energy efficient and allows the drive to operate at 275 milliwatts idle power. And this is really low. I mean, especially if you compare it, for example, to a 520 Intel SSD, uh, which is uh, their, which is Intel's high performance desktop SSD. This drive, when it's in idle, takes 600 milliwatts, which is more than twice as much. So you can imagine what kind of power savings you get when you put this drive into a, into a notebook over a uh, 520 series drive. And in fact, almost any SSD takes something like uh, between four, five, six hundred milliwatts. And so this is a a very very energy efficient drive and um, of course I've also been looking at the specs in the internet since they're not on the box and uh, Intel promises that this drive should be able to uh, perform 450 megabytes uh, of sequential write performance and 500 megabytes per second for sequential reads so in fact what I've been measuring is that the performance values are substantially higher I mean the way above 500 megawatts but I also have to mention that I test compressible data I do not test incompressible data if 
you test incompressible data. I mean, incompressible data is something like uh, large video files which have already been compressed. Uh, then you're going to see numbers which are significantly lower than uh, than what we measured. And on the other hand, there are the, the, the random IOPS. There you're going to see the same. Uh, Intel says that the drive, I have to take a look at my, uh, at my sheet here. Intel says that uh, random write, the drive should be able to perform at uh, 52k. But what we measured is uh, 66k IOPS. And it's almost the same for, for the random read performance, which uh, they advertise for 42k, but actually it's able to perform at uh, 47k. Um, of course, if you compare these to today's fastest consumer SSD drives, these numbers aren't too high, especially if you consider that, uh, uh, that there are drives with one single controller that are able to, uh, to hit the 100k IOPS these days. But uh, still, at this price point, in fact, this drive uh, goes for 165 euros, uh, the performance is on a very, very reasonable level. So it's a uh, in my opinion, bang for the buck, that's really, that's really good. So, let's have a closer look at the accessories which you are going to find in the box. So first take out this uh, next cargo box. Uh, here you can see a, a mini CD with a Intel data migration software. This is a very nice feature if you're going to migrate from an HDD to an SSD or also if you're going to migrate from one SSD to another. Uh, these things, I, I really like it when manufacturers put these into, into the box. So the next thing we can see is a uh, quick start guide that's especially for the unexperienced uh, users. It's a nice thing to have. I mean, pretty much any anything in these uh, in these guys is a, guides is a self-explanatory, as you might see. And if we step ahead, we can see that there are a few screws. We'll see what they're for in a sec. Cables. And this is the three and a half inch adapter carriage. So basically, if you want to put the drive into your computer, you can either put it in a two and a half inch uh, drive bay, or you put it on a, on an adapter like these. Um, as in, you might see the, the the screw holes on the back side. You put it on an adapter like these, and then you can put it into a three and a half inch um, carriage or slot or expansion bay, however you want to call it. Um, it's very this thing is very very solid very sturdy, it takes quite a lot of force to bend it, so it's kind of well built. Um, here there are the screws, first of all the screws to attach the drive to the carriage and then the screws to put the carriage in place in your system. Um, as I said, cables, there is a SATA cable and there is a power adapter cable. So basically there is a, what you get is a desktop bundle, it's really easy to, to migrate stuff, it's easy to put the drive into, the, into your computer, it's uh, easy to migrate uh, your operating system, your software, I mean everything you have on the other drive. And yeah, but as I said, I really, I would really wish that Intel is going to consider a 7mm version of this drive because the, the energy consumption is really good and I personally put it into, into a notebook. So guys, thanks for watching and as always if you enjoy our unboxing videos hit the subscribe button. So see you guys.